Hey there guys, a few people have asked me to show an updated turn one clear for the earlier bosses in Dark Visions or uh, Vision World. And this is the these are the teams that I'm using for my turn one OTKs for everything except the final boss. I'm going to be showing you two teams in this clear. Um, a physical party and a magical party. Now for the most part, JP has stopped doing either physical only or magical only bosses so you really only need like one otk team but i'm still going to show you two just in case jp goes back to doing mage only stages so this is the physical version my new team is now using deity tyvis as our leader with tyvis ricked to be and addison as our heavy hitters all four of them together will deal the 100 count chain score um, we're going to use Lion to break and peril as well as do two weakness hits. That way we get the weakness damage complete. And then Aerith is our all-in-one light support for turn one. And it doesn't matter what element the boss is weak to, we're always going to use this part. Like, this boss is only weak to wind, we don't really care. So Aerith is going to base form LB, that'll do stat buff, LB buff, uh, light imbue, light amplify. Lion is going to triple. She's going to do defense and double bolting in that order. 2B will base form LB. Richt will shift it LB. Tyvus, Deity Tyvus will shift it LB. And Addison will LB. So we're going to click Lion first. Wait just a second. Then click the rest of the party. And there we go. And that should be your damage cap. Um, I think this boss's cap is like 4 billion. We're going to do a lot more than 4 billion. We don't have a killer buffer, but with you know a physical party, you don't really need a killer buffer, so who cares? And we did 19.2, the cap is 4. So as you can see, uh, wrong element, it really doesn't matter. This is a super easy turn 1 OTK um, party. And I'll show you the gear and all if you're really curious, but it's just, you know, EP and gear, to be honest here. Um, so there's the, there's the breakdown. Obviously, Rick and Tyvis are the big carries. Addison and 2B deal a little bit, but they're mostly just to build the chain count score. But hey, they, they, they dealt damage as well. So there it is. And that's our perfect score. And I mean, I'll show you the gear, but like I said, it's it's just flashy attack power gear. Um, Aerith is naked. Lion, just a light weapon, and then kind of whatever, literally. Uh, 2B is right there. I just stuck some generic killers on her, so she fits into most elements, but whatever. Um, there's Richt wearing the best gear. He's got Omni Killer to literally everything, so he's always going to be dealing the most damage no matter what the fight is. Uh, Tyvis and the shift form is doing his LB. We're not doing the setup for Meteor, so we're just doing LB on turn one. It's triple bolting, and there it is. And again, just generic killers to try to fit into most stuff. And then Addison right here, and again, we just stuck on all kind of random killers. And some chain speed on her because she is a six times, or an eight times chainer. And now we're also going to be doing a mage party just in case the, they ever go back to pure mage stages. So here is our ice party. We're going to be using Yish and um, Ayaka to do the majority of the damage. Redia for a little bit of damage, but mostly the field. Uh, Frost Veritas for the complete all-in-one ice support. He does uh, attack and magic buff, ice field, ice amplify, and um, LB damage. Uh, Yish for breaking and a little bit of chaining. We do need a little bit of chaining help. Um, uh, the other Yish, the newer Yish, is going to be the leader as well as some damage. And then Ilmatil is our automatic Omni Killer as well as a support chainer to get that to get that hundred count chain score. So I'll show you what we're going to do. So Veritas of the Frost is just going to use Silverite Stratagem. That's going to imbue the party. Yish is now remember we're, we're using this party in case the boss is physical immune so we're doing it this way so Yish is going to break and then double Blazara the magic spell we're going to LB the shifted form of Rydia that'll be a 40% ice in peril Yish will LB Ayaka will finale and Ilmatil will with Irony's ring quad Blazara so what we're going to do, we're going to click Yish, wait just a second, click Rydia, wait just a second, click the rest of the party. So Yish, Rydia, wait, 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 click the rest, and that should be the damage cap. I'm definitely going to be a lower damage cap than the other one, and there's the chain count score as well. But again, most of these sub-bosses are like either 2 billion or 4 billion damage cap, so even on a physical immune stage, 
we did 10.6. So there you go. Um, pretty high damage. And yeah, that's the magical stage. You know, we triple overcapped almost, just in case they do bring back physical immune fights. And the damage breakdown is right there. So Redia, hey, 1.8, and she brought the Imperil Field. Um, yes, 3.4, and then, of course, Ayaka gets a 150 Amplify on turn one, so does the most damage. And there it is. There is my uh, setup. Oh, oh, and let me, let me show you the gear real quick. Okay, so as far as the gear, this one's a little bit more specific. So on Ilmatil, uh, she has Blazara naturally, but if not, you can just give her the Blazara spell, but Irony's Ring. And we're giving her this for the Great Sword and Peril. That is just for Redia. If you don't have the card, don't worry about it. Um, Ayaka is using a spear because we're clicking Yish, bewitching Yish first, who does a spear in peril. So Yish is clicked first, and she's using. Um, I did give her a stone killer because you might have the gear killers for the the mage party. It's not quite as strong. And then here is Ayaka's gear right there. And again, we're using a spear because of the turn one in peril. Um, we showed you that frost naked. Uh, Yish, Naked, and then Rydia in the shift form is using a Greatsword. And the reason for that is we're clicking Rydia before we click Fairy Yish, or Siren Yish. So we need a Weapon in Peril. And again, if you don't have the Leave It To Me card, just don't give Rydia a Weapon in Peril. Give her a Rod or something, and it won't really matter. But there it is. Okay, there's my updated Turn 1 Clears for Dark Visions and Vision World. Um, now these teams are kind of high end, but also as you saw, we're dealing like five times the cap on the physical party and three times the cap on the mage party. And both of these were wrong element parties. Like the boss is weak to wind, not ice, not light, and we still triple or times five overcapped. Imagine if we were on the right element, how much or how much overcap it would be. Anyway, hope it's helpful. See you in a bit.